Good morning. Okay. Uh, let's start with outfit check. So it's a little chilly outside and I'm super excited about it. But at the same time, when it's chilly, um, you know, you got to like extra layer up the boots and the sweater and all of that. But uh, so just this is a new shirt. I don't really wear this much because it's kind of low cut and I always like to have a undershirt. Ms. Martinez taught me that. Um, anyway, and then I got some new shoes. You know those shoes that when you buy them, the little ballerina type shoes, when you buy them, little slippers, um, they kind of hurt your feet because they're not worn in yet. That's where I'm at. Okay, they're not worn in yet. Okay, so today is Tuesday, October 19th, and I brought my stuff. So I went through all of this. Uh, and I went through, I changed my kit. This used to be my acrylic kit. And then I put my nail art stuff. So the things that I'm taking back and forth home to here because I've been playing with them and practicing and things of the sort are now in the case. And that'll be the case that I transport back and forth instead of putting it in a bag. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, and then I sorted through all my nail art stuff because there was a lot and I just wanted to make sure to organize it. And then I organized my studio at home. So now I have a little spot that I just, it's already set up, it's a table, it's set up. I took my little brown rolling card home that I used to use for salon days, put all my nail stuff in there. Um, but I still kept everything in my, 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 my clear bin. So when I teach acrylics, I just grab the bin and bring it. I don't have to like sort through everything and pack everything and things of the sort. Um, so I've got my table set up. Let me show you here for my sophomore nail art. This is the supplies that we're going to need. And so yesterday we did the transfer foil with the spider web. And today we're going to continue with that. So students are going to be taking their heads home today, starting today. The um, gel lights, UV lights and things of the sort are there ready for the students. And I'm going to go ahead and go clock in and I shall be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm going to share with you um, I had this, I had bought it during COVID and I used it a few times, but didn't use it fully. Um, and so it's just one of them big uh, journal type, you have the little lines. So I'm going to actually use it for my table setup for here. So what I would do is I would have my butcher paper and, or whatever. If it's not white, when I do it on the camera, the white balance, it just, this is, you can't really see very well. So I need a white background. So I'm going to, and it gets dirty all the time. And so I'm gonna use this as my background and then I can tear the page off as I go. What I really want are those, um, like the tissue wrapping paper. And I wanna put the CTU Trust logo on here and maybe, um, I don't know, my name or something cool, kind of like a branding thing to teach students about branding because we're doing the whole, all right, so much about the boss lady. Um, I need my battery run out. But anyway, so the theme this year is like the boss is doing the whole entrepreneur thing. Uh, and so the, the, that's why I want that um, tissue paper that has the logos for branding so that with the video, not only does it have that on there, but it shows the students and teaches them that's you know, something that they can do as well with their branding, um, with their nail business. So anyway, so I went ahead and put the transfer foil because we did teach, I did teach the kiddos yesterday about the transfer foil. So I went ahead and grabbed all the little transfer foil that I have and the nail glue, um, I'm sorry, the foil glue, and it's in a bag. So if they are wanting to use it, it's here, they should grab the bag, but I do keep it at my table so I want to just keep my eyes on that. Um, in that rolly cart, I went ahead and put... All right, we're back in business. So the second battery ran out of battery. Died. Whoa. Um, and then I went ahead and switched it out. Charged it, and I got to charge this one. So it's been since... I have the extension cord to the reel. So it's kind of in the way. So since I last left you, 
sophomores have come and gone. We did the nail art. So this is the, oh, this is a little nail stick in here, but this is the little nail art. Spider web on a solid nail tip, transfer foil, the ghost, and glitter application. Um, all with the gel top coat. And then we talked about the little, um, this is a transfer foil with the pumpkin, a spider web, and then it also has um, the transfer foil design, which is a pumpkin. It's upside down, y'all. Let me look. Is it going to focus? There you go. And then it has a purple transfer foil. So I told the students they can do it on this for their swatches or they can do it on their box. This is awesome because, look, they stick. And so this is the 3D mounting tape. You can get this at the dollar store. Don't go to like Walmart or Hobby Lobby or anything like that or a craft store because it's expensive. Just go to the dollar store, buy for a dollar. So get a piece. And this is a jewelry box. It's like a necklace or a tennis bracelet type of jewelry box. I get them on Amazon. They come with a little fluff in the middle. I take it off. And then this is what... Um, this is what it is now. If you wanted to get cute, let me show you. Now you have to get the clear mounting tape, but this is a little box, right? They sell it at the dollar store. And then like, isn't that cute? And then you can put your little nails, you know, you could tape the little nails in there like so. Right, I mean, obviously you'd have to do it right, but that is that. And so then I taught the students how to take a actual nail tip, which is this, right? That nail tip has the corners, how to use the tip slicer file and make it into a shape of a press on nail. See the difference? So the presentation is better whenever they fix the nail correctly and it sticks on to the mounting tape better because when it has the extension, when it's just a uh, nail extension, um, it has the corners, it's so curved that it doesn't stick very well onto the tape. But once you get rid of the top corner, these are all nail tips that have the well and have the corners and that are meant to be um, glued on the very edge of the nail, but we turned them into press-ons. So, that's really fun, I really like that. And I've shown you already, this is the, the nail art I pulled from Pinterest. This is what I'm teaching them. So the ghost, so we did the ghost glitter application, but this is the candy corn glitter application. So sometimes I just switch it around. So I just tell them, okay, now you're gonna do this one. If I have to give them like open lab, do this one, but except instead of the ghost, use do the candy corn and do the same technique. So then they are able to put two and two together. And then here's the nail packet that has, and we're doing the little design. So we're drawing the designs first on the nail chart and then they do it on the nail. So that way when a, Pinterest, a person comes in with a Pinterest image, they're not like, whoa, how do I do that? How do I break it down? What do I do first? They break it down on paper and then they do it and they have a better idea of how to do it. And they're more successful at it. Um, oh, five minutes. I had put all the stuff away for, I got my name tag for Skills You Say for Friday ready. I need to, oh, I need to put in this up. I, I had to go get um, pure acetone and um, alcohol at the beauty supply store. So I went, then I stopped at CC's and ate lunch. So um, that took up my whole time. There's construction, there's traffic, so was stuck in traffic for a little bit on both ways because then on the way back I totally forgot and I went down the right, same road and it's giving me stuck. I'm stuck. And there wasn't much that I could do at that point. So collecting mascara ones and spoolies. I got a good little bucket going. Look, that's pretty heavy. All of this mascara ones people have donated that's really awesome okay so got my pile of things to do literally a pile of things it's not too bad but it's just I can't find my script for my fall 
leadership thing, and I know I have it. I don't know where it's at. I put away the um, mannequins because I was thinking of starting. We were supposed to be starting face painting this week, but I'm on Friday, and then um, we uh, Monday we had to finish the four strand braid, and then we started into uh, French braiding yesterday, and then one class I just took forever, and I couldn't get done and through French braiding, and so I felt bad, and then I thought, let me just finish this week with braiding, and then we'll move on. We'll do, we'll do special effects makeup that following week with Dr. Ryan with Criminal Justice, I have a collaboration we're gonna be doing, then we'll do face painting the first week of November, and then we'll move on from there. This is the year at a glance that I have. Um, this one is for introduction to cosmetology. So I have my, we are six, six weeks, and I have what I work on each six weeks and what my resource or chapter is if there's a chapter. And I make sure that I cover all my teaks um, to, to make sure I, I, I teach all of it. And I don't always just teach one teak. Um, how do I say? I don't always just teach one teak at a time. I sometimes teach multiple teaks throughout the workshops. So I might teach infection control throughout the entire school year and infection control, that whole DDLR bit, that's a teak on its own, but I don't just teach that one time. I teach it throughout the entire school year. So sometimes it works better that way. I found my notes from my um, SIPs. Find my notes from my SIPs uh, meeting and uh, things I need to do. I've got the launch party information. I need to make the VIP pass, and I've got some items that are in, so I need to work on that. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. I did add. Spirit Week, so we're doing Skills USA Spirit Week. Um, Skills USA, well, I won't tell you because it's a contest, so never mind. Is you have to do like Recruitment Week, and I did Spirit Week for Recruitment Week, and I've got some cool stuff on there, so I won't tell you because it's not a secret, but I want to win the competition. So if I tell you, then you might do it, and then you might enter, and then you might beat us. So I'll just wait. I still also have my mini grant application I've got to submit. I just seriously have been running out of time with all of this stuff. So, uh, but all right, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get to work. It's good seeing y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Y'all, the inspector's here. He came. Um, it was like midway through fifth period, which is like after 12. Maybe it was about 12.30 when he got here. Usually they come in the morning and that way they have like the two hour fourth period lunch to work through to check all the binders and stuff. He's still here. It's 4.02 p.m. I was supposed to pick up my kid an hour ago. I feel so bad. I was like, mom, I'm so sorry. Um, so he's checking through the permits right now, and hopefully he's almost done. But <sighs> at least we have that part over. Y'all know how it is when you're expecting your inspector, and you're just like, oh my gosh, can I just come so we can get this over with? That's just kind of always like, ugh. Anyway, so still here. Just wanted to share.